Good morning, and thanks for joining us for the Esri AEC Community Kickoff Call. My name is Mark Goldman. I'm the Director of Architecture, Engineering, and Construction Industry Solutions at Esri, and I will be your facilitator for today's program. We've got an informative and hopefully interactive session planned here. Thanks for taking the time this morning, this afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. We've got people from around the globe. We've got a brief agenda, mostly oriented around getting the community off the ground and informing everyone about our plans for the year to help keep everyone connected. Speaking of connected, like your company, unless you are working in construction in the field, I assume you're working remotely at a home office, we feel your pain. Here's the composite of our AEC business development team. And here's me. I've been working remote from a home office on and off for most of the past 15 years. So while the world is upside down, off track, and our jobs are likely to be changed forever in ways we can't even imagine, my work environment for the most part is the same it's been for many years. Now, since you're going to be forced to listen to me for the majority of the next hour, let me give you a bit of background on myself. After leaving architecture and engineering school, I spent a few years as an AEC practitioner. I worked in just about every aspect of design, engineering, construction, and facilities management on projects ranging from retail and restaurants off Bourbon Street, New Orleans, to oil rig barge crane engineering projects in the Gulf of Mexico. But rather than become an architect or an engineer, I was an AEC tech enthusiast from the beginning. From the earliest days of CAD, at school I was researching parametrics and preaching object-based CAD in its earliest days, really before anyone even said the word BIM or heard of the term Revit. Um, a common thread through my career has been the intersection of AEC and building product manufacturers. A number of times I've led efforts and worked with great teams on products and services in this segment. Wanting to get my hands deeper into the modeling workflows of AEC, I worked for two different India-based BIM content and project building companies, uh, primarily working with GCs. That led to a five-year deep dive into the tech initiatives of tying together the people, projects, and products of AEC. Since then, I've spearheaded global initiatives to define, design, develop, and deploy 3D, 4D, 5D solutions. And now I'm at Esri, leading the strategy and the go-to-market efforts for the AEC industry team. I'm joined today and just about every day by my wonderful colleague, Laurence. Do you want to introduce yourself, Laurence? Hi, everyone. My name is Laurence Dietrichow. I've been with Esri 18 years this month. I lead marketing programs for the AEC industry Previously, I supported different communities, the electric and gas community, the commercial team, and I'm uh, very happy to be launching the AC community with all of you today. So all of you, it's actually a very international community. We've got people joining us today from mostly the US because of the time of the webinar, but we've got people from Europe, from Austria, the UK, we also have people joining us from the Middle East and as far as Australia. Great. The community, you know, before we jump into, you know, the details and such calendars, get some participation from you, I'm just going to read sort of our purpose. We don't have a charter yet, and I'll get into that in the end, but essentially this Esri AEC community is a forum that fosters networking amongst Esri users who are architecture, engineering, and construction professionals with similar interests and objectives, where members are encouraged to share implementation strategies and product experience. So essentially, that's our mission. We'll put that into a charter, and like I said, later in the conversation here, I'll get into charter. But just so we kind of know what we're all doing here and who's on the call, uh, we're either all Esri employees, partners, customers, or somehow connected directly to the ecosystem distributors and such. So what are the benefits of belonging to that very new community? Well, what we're expecting is providing you a forum to exchange and interact with your peers, users from the architecture, engineering, and construction industry who are ESRI users have GIS experience. We want you to be able to get to know each other, share information, provide aid to each other and we also would like to allow you to meet new partners in that industry to work on different projects you would also be supporting different projects with other customers maybe provide product advice or recommendation on the workflows 
So this is basically a great learning opportunity to learn from each other and learn from Esri products and experts. And you'll see here on this webinar, we're actually going to start the process of getting to know you and helping you get to know who else is in the community so that you can make those connections like the last just described. Specifically, we're going to encourage participation in these webinars. We can't get together in person. We can't put physical notes on a wall and chat about them, but we're going to try to do some of that virtually here with, you know, 100 or so people on a call. It would be great if we all could just kind of, you know, have a good, easy conversation. I think this will be the right method of getting input and such from everyone with so many people on the call and be as participatory as possible. I'm going to go through a few questions which came in on the registration site for this session. Firstly, what's the purpose of this community and who can be part of it? It's AEC community professionals who are ESRI customers. We don't have a charter yet, like I said, and we'll explain some of the rules and such of engagement, but this is an open community for our customers and partners, distributors, employees, kind of a level playing field that is very much led by the community itself. We had someone ask, they're already a member of another community. Can they be a member of both? Certainly so. We work closely with the other industries, Watts and I, uh, very closely, in fact, with water. Uh, telecom and the utilities, as well as the dozen or so other industries and as we cross our sectors quite a bit. In fact, I think we'll probably learn from those other groups on what makes the best uh, user community. Question here, it'll be 10 o'clock p.m. in Azerbaijan. Can we schedule for international time zones? Actually, is it 10 o'clock there? It might be even a little bit later. I think it's 10 hours different. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, friends who are in bed in Asia, Australia, or if you're at dinner in Europe or Africa, Middle East, you know, we're going to try to schedule these meetings, these sessions that work in all time zones. It's really getting harder and harder these days as everyone is now signed up for more and more webinars, but we all are in front of our computers, but we do need to sleep and eat. That said, we always do record meetings like this. We're open to doing these multiple times a day so that we can meet the global community and we certainly will we'll make available recordings to those who register. Uh, is there a time commitment? No, you do need to be a customer. Like I said, when you sign up for the webinar, please do attend. And when you're with us, please be an active listener, engage in the meetings. That's really the you know, commitment that we're expecting. I'm an existing as we partner. Can I promote my products to this group? No. We may ask you to participate in the meeting because your solution helps. It helps tell a story, helps show a workflow, it has a really compelling demo, capabilities that just are you know exciting and such, but we're not going to really about promotion as much as solution delivery, if you will. How do you introduce GIS to an old school company? It's a great question. It's actually one that we have a blog that one of our team members is working on, and we're going to publish that through GeoNet. We'll talk a little more about GeoNet in a little bit, but uh, essentially that's a topic we know is uh, one that a lot of our customers come across as they're trying to either introduce GIS or expand the use of GIS. That term old school company is one we see often in AEC industry. If you have got your phone in front of you, take a snapshot of the QR code or type in this URL into a browser and you'll be presented a survey which will help this community know about each other, the members of the community. Basic information, you know, who do you work for, what's your title, put a photo up if you don't mind, what's your email address, where are you located, and then what products are you an expert in, what products would you like to gain an expertise in. And we'll put this together as an app and a map so you can connect with other professionals directly, filter down to those who have the expertise or the areas of interest that you're looking for, and make direct connections outside of a once a month webinar of sorts. Upcoming events. A week or two ago, we announced the user conference is going virtual. You know, there's a lot of pent up uh, anxiety here, what we we're going to do, how we we're going to do things, but uh, we're coming out on the other side here pretty excited. There will still be an ABC track. It's going to be comprised of the customer presentations like we've been you know, doing for years, the same ones that we solicited abstracts for some months ago. This is all nailed down. We're just changing the venue from live to streaming. There will be a plenary. There will be some form of a virtual expo space. The exact manner in which that works is yet to be determined, but you know, just like you're at a trade show, you walk up to a booth, you want to get your questions answered, you'll be able to do that. It's going to be some combination of probably the ability just to walk up and schedule time, 
you'll look for people who have expertise that you're looking to get answers for, as well as the ability to sort of browse in a virtual manner. One of the biggest changes, in addition to not being together in person, is that we're making the event free. So typically, the, the user conference, we get about 20,000 people when you count employees and, and our users from around the globe. It would probably be more if there wasn't an issue of, I can only attend seminars when I'm presenting or the cost of getting on a plane and hotel, um, often management see events like this as boondoggles and don't fund them. But if you can now go for free, dial into the exact event that you're interested in, schedule a time to meet with product experts, this could blow up. This could turn into a huge turnout, which we're planning for, just the same as we're planning for the fact that sometimes people sign up for virtual events and don't attend. So we're hoping that you will do, like I said earlier, sign up, actually attend, participate. There'll be lots more on this topic in our June meeting. We're actually going to dedicate our June meeting to a pre-UC hour-long discussion. It's too early to talk about any other in real life meetups. For 2020, we're effectively canceling all events which we had planned to attend in person. We had a calendar at the beginning of the year that was peppered with live events where we were presenting where we had 10 by 10 booths to 10 by 30 booths, where we were invited to have Jack come up on stage as the keynote for AEC events. Well, those have all either been delayed or canceled, postponed in some manner, and we're not going to be that company that's sending our team around the globe and doing more harm than good. So we're looking for other ways of staying connected on all types of channels that would have been fulfilled by live events. Like the rest of the technology world and the rest of the world, I guess in general, now we're going remote, we're going global, we're going virtual, we're going with, with webinars. Like I said earlier, we're trying to make them stand out a little bit from others that uh, you know, with the participatory element to them. We've got two sort of tracks here. One is the, the community itself, connecting people, helping you figure out what's best to sign up for free UC, highlighting things you might want to know about, doing a, an after event meeting to learn um, what went great, what people learned, what they want to share. We'll spend some time on training options from Esri and then do a year end wrap up. But in between those times, we'll have a track of workflow oriented webinars, focusing on different areas and capabilities that Esri has strengths and great capabilities in the area of AEC workflows. So reality capture, urban workflows, including also city engine, and then field-based workflows, data collection, and such, a server 123, collector, et cetera. These are all scheduled on Tuesdays, approximately every four weeks, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. PST. And like we said earlier, we'll figure out a way to either rebroadcast these or conduct them a second time on the same days to accommodate the global audience. This is the participatory part. We want to get some feedback from y'all on topics of interest for the next section, and also use this time to collect a little bit of info on your areas of expertise and areas of interest. And definitely what this is going to do is help our Esri AEC team gain some insight to our customers, as those who dial into these kinds of webinars. You can see that we've got a little stack of notes on the left side there. Pick one up and drag it over. I'll rearrange these if they start to stack up on top of each other. I'll fix some of your formatting issues. What we're going to do after this is find some categories here, find some groupings. And if we were in person, we would take some time offline and group things and then come up with some conclusions, try to you know, narrow it down to less than the 30 or 40 here, down to maybe five or 10. But this is really great. I appreciate the, uh, the participation. Oh, this is great. We've got a community who's all helping out here. The goal of these exercises is for you to vote on a selection of topics. So you can grab up to three green coins and three orange coins per participant and move them over one of the cards that's of interest. How else can you participate? We love to tell your story. Um, you know, the ways you're putting together as solutions, the way you're solving industry problems, it's story worthy. Yeah, I didn't I typically start when I introduced myself on Ezra meetings that I'm new here uh, about six months or so. I'm hardly a day to go spot, but I don't stumble across a case study or a story map or 
get on a call with a customer who's telling me about some just amazing blow my mind kind of project that is um, day to day for them, but is again, very story worthy. So we wanna hear your successes. We want to interview you. We'll ask for some images. We'll make you sign a release form and make you famous. Not famous, but you know, we'll include some quotes which you can show off to your friends and colleagues. Uh, seriously though, we're looking for examples. Get yourself out there, let us highlight you, connect with your account manager, um, if quickly you have something that you think is worth telling a story, or look for a message soon from us with a link to a survey one, two, three form for you to fill in and get the process started. And these are just uh, a couple, three or four stories that I, I came across when I did a search an hour or so ago, one some screenshots for this slide. Again, what you might think is just mundane is something that uh, certainly myself and others in the industry are able to learn from. So connect with us for case studies because that, from a selfish point of view, that is the seed of a lot of our marketing efforts. And we have case studies we can put together longer pieces that group case studies together to tell a bigger story, or we refer to case studies in our many webinars. Case studies, studies help us know who to seek out to have on stage at various, various events, whether live or virtual like this. Next steps here. Talk about our charter. We'll distribute a charter, nothing too fancy or elaborate, but something to give some formality to this group. We're not gonna be you know, voting and presidents and, and such, but you know, some just kind of basic rules and such and um, some assignments. Uh, the next meeting, uh, sign up for the community webinar series we talked about. The registration link will be sent in a follow-up email after this webinar, and that will be uh, set up so that you can sign up for hopefully just one time and be signed up for all of them and then get reminders and not have to enter your information multiple times, but instead we'll let you know for the things that you signed up for when they start coming around. We mentioned the, the survey. We wanna make those results available so that this group will have a way to reach out to each other based on the collected input of everyone. The idea is to give you access to a map later on where you can share your information with other users share the kind of expertise you have for the community and what kind of help or expertise you would like to get from other community members. Yes, so the URL and the QR code should both point you to that. A little bit of demographics and then your area of expertise. And there were actually a few questions sent in through the question panel here. One question here that I think is broad enough to bring up is focus on AEC companies only. How about capital project organizers as in owners? Yeah, I think that, that we're going to have owners on here as well. In a lot of places at Esri, they fall into other categories, our owners do, but you can't not talk about AEC without talking about the owners. So certainly um, welcome and, and hope for participation through, you know, through these events. And if, if that's not specific enough, please reach out. Uh, last bit here, Connect, Geonet, which is an Esri-hosted collaboration site. We'll be using that as a mechanism of, of communicating with our users, promoting content, blog content, story maps that get created by our, our various communities, posting articles there as well. Uh, it's undergoing some redesign right now, and it's going to undergo an, a new platform to be even more collaborative in the coming months or so. So please yeah, engage with us. And we'll be posting um, webinar recordings for the community on Geonet. So look for the AEC place on Geonet. And we're moving things around right now, but you've got the previous recordings of three webinars that uh, we created to support the COVID-19 activities. We'll be posting the current webinar recording to Geonet. We'll be announcing upcoming webinars on Geonet. So definitely if you want to hear from us and also ask questions to each other and to Esri staff, we encourage you to use Geonet. Yeah, it's a fairly young community, online community, compared to other groups within Esri who've leveraged it for years and have great value out of it. It's one of those things, it's a little bit of chicken and egg. Once you get going with it, it adds more value just by means of the community contribution to it. We are also active on LinkedIn. We, as individuals, certainly are posting things. We do have an SRE AEC user group as well, but if you choose to, to join that, we'll get a little notice and add you as well. We are quite active on social and 
actually turning up the volume there as well. So as you see our post, please share, please comment, retweet, post questions, engage with us through these mechanisms on Twitter as well, certainly. That we're both through the connection to LinkedIn and Twitter on its own. We're trying to be as active as possible and use that as a mechanism to create a sense of community. Yeah, the Esri LinkedIn group, so the Esri AC user group on LinkedIn is a closed group, but feel free to join it if you're not a member yet. And the Twitter account is more for general information from Esri to the AEC customer base and partners. It's not specifically for the AC community, but we're sharing information, product content, updates through the at Esri AEC account. All right. Well, with that, thank you again. We look forward to seeing you sign up for our events and we'll uh, be experimenting with other technologies and tools to keep us all connected and collaborative and participatory in these kind of calls. So you all have a great day. Bye-bye.